I came to the Visalia Rescue Mission in search of something different. Um, I was addicted to methamphetamine for a very long time. I, uh, I pushed everybody in my life away, including my family, wife, kids, mother, sisters, everybody pushed them away. I was lying to everybody, stealing from everybody, and lying about stealing. And was so ashamed of what I was doing that I was contemplating a real bad way out to look at myself. It was so painful to look in the mirror that I couldn't do it without crying, without knowing what I had done, who I had hurt. It took me a long time to come to the realization that I needed help. I always thought that, you know, God wasn't real. And if he was, he couldn't be a loving God because he took my father away from me when I was 16. And I held a resentment against God for a long time for that. After coming in here and learning the things I've learned, I've noticed a change not only in me, but in my family. Everybody has the same story, just different details. Everybody has the same hurt, just a different area in their life. I knew that I would come out of here a different person. I knew I would come out of here a better person because I would, you know, be clean and sober. And that was my main goal coming in here was just clean and sober. I never thought that the impact that God would have on my life would actually happen. I never, it never occurred to me that I would be praying every day. It never occurred to me that I would be praying with other people every day. The friendships that I've gotten here, I will hold on to for life. I've heard from graduates in the past to wait for the miracle to happen. And when it happens, you will know it. Well, the miracle's happened and now I'm, uh, I'm never letting it go. When I felt betrayed from my second wife, and I got a case of the screw-its. And that's when I said, heck with this, heck with all of it. I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do. And I went out and got drugs again. Because in my mind, that was the all cure for the depression and the uh, stagnation of going through everyday boring life. And at the same time, I was going to church. That's the rub, you know, I was, I was praising God thinking that if I put God first, it didn't matter how many drugs I did because it wasn't an idol. When the bottom fell, I didn't have the structure and the deep-seated yearning for God that I do now. The biggest thing is that I found my life again in Christ. He's given it back to me. He's given me uh, my parents back. It's the first time in a long time I've talked to my dad and I've felt and, and heard his happiness in his voice. My mom's always, always been there to tell me to put a smile on my face and keep going. And so I know she's happy, I know he's happy, and above all, I'm happy that God is doing things in my life and that I'm gonna strive for everything that he has for me because there's nothing I can't do as long as I put him first. So for me, surrendering and just the, just uh, waiting on the Lord to help me because that's what I asked Him to do is help help me in my times because as uh, I wanted to get you know back to feeling normal and right you know and when I surrendered, I started hearing people tell me that what things meant about even resentment and the anger that I had and stuff, and I had it. <laughs> I had a anger in me and stuff. So once they told me about these things, it's just like a release, a release of it came out from my heart. That was what, uh, what I needed. And that's what the Lord helped me with because I couldn't do it on my own. I got blessed by it, by the being here, by the counseling, Rick, and being able to do things that I've done before, but here I, it's, I'm being able to work and do things that are, are helping me. I spent most of my life here in Visalia, California, spending my life uh, up late, partying, and just doing the things that I really shouldn't have been doing, things that I hadn't been doing while I was in college in seminary school 
and my relationship with the Lord started to slip away and and it was a slow process and you know things just don't come on all at once and along with my my drinking that I didn't really turn into a heavy drinker until years later but uh, I continued to drink over the years get myself in a lot of trouble in the jail many times it took a number of years to realize that I had a serious problem with alcohol but you have to reflect on some of those those things and what's happening into your life and mine began to unravel quite a few years ago and for me it just it continued on for a number of years I basically been drinking for about 30 years 25 of it uh, every day and so you can imagine uh, it's years of a lot of abuse but I uh, think the Lord we have a, a Lord that restores he restored my health when I got here and that was a serious issue uh, my life was falling apart my business was falling apart everything was just uh, unraveling still trying to do things my own way but the most important thing that I, I think that I've gotten is the uh, the the peace and the joy I I learned that there was just much more to to knowing the Lord than what I had previously learned you know if people could experience and get a, a small taste of what the Lord can do for their life and if they would give him a chance, he can take care of their addiction, whatever it is. We're gonna go where? Well.